Hi dudes and dudettes. Yeah, I got flagged with the previous video. I left out the goals and I told them it's not applicable to them. And the one girl called me out and said, Gert, uh, girls also have testosterone, albeit at much, much lower levels than guys. So she was correct. So dudettes, you're welcome to watch the video. Let's do a quick recap. Remember the crucial rule for the T-boosting protocol. Each testing phase on the T-boosting protocol is three month period. Before you start and after you end, you need to check and test your total T and free T. Now that you do either by visiting your doctor or you go to my supplements order page where you will find home testing kits that you can use. So the crucial rule is, as long as there was an increase of your total T and free T in the three month period, even if it's a small increase, you do not move to the next level. You stay with level one until such time that it plateaus out or it decreases. Only then do you move forward to level two. But note, you never ever drop level one. Level one forms the base for moving forward. Right, now without further ado, let's delve into level two. Steer clear from intermittent fasting. Oh no, I'm going to get stoned here. There are so many guys supporting intermittent fasting out there. Now guys, I'm not saying it isn't working. What I am saying is if your target is to raise your testosterone levels, the science is against you. Let me discuss. If we rewind, for example, two years back to let's say 2021, there was a couple of smaller science studies that actually looked like it supported the fact that your testosterone levels might increase with intermittent fasting. Notably Asunga 2007 and Moron House 2019. But come 2022, a definitive study saw the light. It was titled Effect of Intermittent Fasting on Reproductive Hormone Levels in Females and Males. Uh, unfortunately guys, the study left absolutely no room for any doubt. If your goal is to increase your testosterone levels, Intermittent fasting is not the right approach. Intermittent fasting literally caused testosterone levels to drop. In the study, they examined young, fit, active males and what intermittent fasting effect was on their bodies and testosterone levels. Both the total testosterone and the free testosterone levels in all the subjects dropped. And there's a further complication, especially older guys. Intermittent fasting has a huge risk of lowering your basal metabolic rate, which means that in the future, you're gonna add unwanted weight much easier. That is the last thing you wanna do. So step one is simple. Do not implement intermittent fasting. It's the wrong approach for raising testosterone level. Instead, you should implement an eating regime that has got at least three meals per day. Again, I invite you to book a single consultation with me. I'll help you to set up a right diet for optimal testosterone levels. Okay, step two, lowering your cortisol and stress levels. Now guys, cortisol is not inherently a bad hormone. In fact, normal short-term increases in cortisol due to acute stress can actually lead to a temporary boost in testosterone levels. It plays a vital role in the body, particularly in the metabolism and immune system. However, problems arise when cortisol's natural daily cycle is interrupted. And that natural cycle is high levels in the morning and gradually declining during the rest of the day. Now when that cycle is disrupted and cortisol stays high, for the whole day. Now that can be due to many factors. Stress is the big factor, but it could also be lack of sleep. Now sustained high cortisol levels will have a negative effect on your testosterone levels. Many scientific studies has confirmed this link. Consistently elevated cortisol levels will decrease your total testosterone and your free testosterone levels. Specifically here, I would like to reference the study by Hackett. Now the key takeaway here for step two is that you need to learn to manage your cortisol levels. You need to find ways to release stress. Do whatever it takes. If it means that you have to join a boxing club, do it. Personally, I find the war I have with weights during my gym training session more than enough to release my stress levels of the day. Now I'm going to put a few lists on the screen of things you can try to do to decrease your cortisol levels. Number one, follow a well-balanced diet centered on whole foods. Number two, adequate sleep, guys. I'm going to discuss sleep more in depth in step three below. Completely eliminate alcohol and nicotine from your routine. That must not be in your life. Cultivate and maintain strong social connections. Friends are important. Consider cognitive behavioral therapy called CBT. But now, very important, explore supplements like ashwagandha 
and check out the science studies that I'm gonna have in the video description box, especially ashwagandha. There were quite a couple of science studies done and each of them confirmed a rather drastic decrease in your cortisol levels when you use ashwagandha. So this is not bro science, this is real science guys that can help you lowering your cortisol levels. Check out my supplements order page, that is where I provide a link where you can buy this product. And obviously identify and minimize things that add stress to your life. But in severe cases of stress and anxiety, consult your physician. Medication can help. Righty, on to step three guys. Target eight hours of sleep per night. It's quite straightforward. If your aim is optimal testosterone levels, you should aim approximately seven to eight hours of quality sleep per night. A scientific study published in 2015 showed the effect of sleep patterns on testosterone levels. And just by cutting your sleepy time to approximately five hours a night resulted in a drop of 15% of your total T and free testosterone levels. Sleep is undeniably vital for optimal testosterone levels in men. Take a moment guys to reconsider how you spent your time. Watch less TV, do whatever it takes, but get your seven to eight hours quality sleep in per night. That means 15% higher testosterone levels, maybe even more. Righty, that is level two of the T boosting protocol. So how are you gonna verify that level two is working? Easy guys, there's a three month period. When you start with a three month period, you verify your total T and your free T via blood work. After the three months, you again verify those two with your blood work. Now after the three months, if you notice increase in these levels, the total T and the free T, you stick to level two. You do not move on to level three. As long as you experience an increase, that is where you wanna be. But if after a three month period, you see that your total T and free T has plateaued or even decreased, that is when you move forward to level three. So guys, stay tuned for the upcoming videos in the series. I've already done the first video. This is the second video. There's gonna be five videos in total in the series and it's get more interesting as it progress. We're gonna delve deeper into the science behind each of those things. Remember that by following a systematic, scientific backed approach, you will be able to reach optimal testosterone levels. So if you're interested in my coaching guys, I've, I've got two flagship systems. The one is the advanced system too, and the other one is the plus system. And now guys, I wish you all happy training and virile testosterone levels. Cheers, Gertlof and Captain signing off.